another vintage Gucci, very old. This is like 70s. The US Air Force, oh my gosh. And she gave me all this stuff for free. You guys aren't even gonna believe what she gave me for free, look. The best thing of all is I got all this for free. I can't believe I got all this for free. All right, pirates of all ages, we are here at my storage and it's gonna be an exciting day. We're getting ready to go pick up a big vault. Let me make sure I got my trailer all situated. But before we do, we need to unload our trailer. Still it's full of all the treasures we've yet to go through, but I have to get it moved. My other trailer is ready for the flea market because that's what happens when you buy a storage unit. You gotta sell the stuff too. You don't just buy it and then make videos and you're done. You gotta actually sell it. So we gotta finish what's going on in this trailer unloaded into our storage which we thought was going to be clean see look at all that great stuff in there still and then go pick up an 8 by 16 vault so let me get to that and then we'll get to there we got uh i think it's gonna be an exciting one tool unit manly looking stuff possibly a motorcycle and i paid uh three thousand after expenses we are going to probably leave a lot of this smaller stuff in here from the vault i think this came from that overseas vault looks like a pole lamp what do you all think pole lamp i'm gonna try to leave some of the stuff that i don't need to unpack in here to load it to the front so that way when the time comes for the next market i don't have to get Ooh, come on this old clothes rack is pretty nice got some redwood style wood with a nice uh, already wrapped piece i'm just gonna save that right for alameda so now we just got lots of boxes to pull out. And these are all just tons of vaults. And I think it's the same one. The woman was a doctor. Well, we're going to find out here soon enough. I want to see a little idea of what we're looking at here. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I want to be looking at here. Sports Illustrated. Maybe it's kind of cool, good sign. They liked Ebony. Okay. JFK. Looks like magazines. I'm not impressed by that box. Let me see something. Let me see something to excite me for the day. Get my universal energy pumping. Oh, yes, we got paper and rugs and suitcases. <laughs> that is not what should be packed in a dish pack, guys. That is freaking bull crap. I'm 600 deep on this freaking no. Yeah, 600 deep on this pod. Um, frequent traveler. Okay, so they travel frequently. Okay, and they have shoes. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think we got something here. Look what I see. That's that vintage Gucci. That's a good way to start a $600 vault, I guess. I was over here complaining. Keds are cheap. Those are cheap, but I like these. So we're going to set... For instance, these vintage purses aside, some of them are not quite good vintage, but we're gonna actually set most of them aside here because it looks like, like this one's not very promising to me. Kedaz, still a cool purse. I will set the older ones aside, like that has some, it says fossil, and it's got a fossil key on the side. Definitely vintage, because they sat in the storage for a while and they were probably, just judging by this, this is, there's a little symbol there too, like a coach. Rosetti. Rosetti. Good purse though. At least we found a Gucci so far. This is very bohemian. I'm actually digging all these purses though. So far I don't see one that's really... Is this another fossil? Wow, I've never even really found fossil purses. I'm gonna have to look those up. I'm not used to finding fossil purses. You find the watches, you find the etc, etc. They are a little used. This one has a little rip here, see? But they are definitely worthy. They are definitely worthy. What do you guys think? Do you want to see all these in the auction or do you want me to just take them to my Alameda? A little dirty on the inside, but dirty is kind of the end thing right now. Okay, looks like we got another Gucci. Another vintage Gucci, very old. Wow, this one is heck of old. This is like 70s. Oh, it's got a little blemish right there, see? But that's still tight. I'm gonna recommend that being a tight purse. We got Liz Claiborne, that's just primitive. And we got Kenneth Cole Reaction. We got another little clutch, a nice little clutch. I'll probably set that aside. And uh, that's what it's, ooh, what do we got here? These things have been worn a time or two. <laughs> 
Well, that's better than a sharp stick in the eye. I have to start off a $600 palette with Gucci. And it makes me a little more intrigued to see inside of there. What do you guys think? Because the box we just carried out and all this, that's one storage unit for 600 bucks. All right, Pirates of All Ages, we're going to go through the first fault in this trailer. A mishap this morning. I totally unloaded my trailer to get ready, and they told me I can't come till Thursday in the rain to move my storage unit because they got two or three people there already. I'm just frustrated. I told them, cancel the unit. I'm not coming in the rain when my trailer's unloaded now. I'm 15 minutes away, and how much space do you need in a huge open uh, parking lot at a warehouse to move one pod? Come on. You don't have 200 people there. You have, like, three people. Anyway, we are going to uh, go through this move this what happened to that 48 hours? you have 48 hours and we bend the rules when it works in your favor people come on he's taken into consideration is the fact that without the storage buyer there is no storage business cool the companies provide the stuff but you need us to buy it so you should have a little respect and appreciation for us as well a miracle planet wow that's kind of a interesting little book right there. interesting books i can tell I like that, The Power of Myth. I always like to judge, uh, or not judge, but you always want to take a look at the books and see what kind you got, because that's what's important, right? Like, it tells you kind of the story of people, the books they read. That's my first impression on a storage unit, is like, if you see a telltale sign of books or something, it's going to tell you all-star cooks, okay? The Journal of Air, Law, and Commerce, okay? That's kind of different. I don't know what that is, but... Journal of Air, Law, and Commerce, Volume 2, 3, 4, 4. There's two fours. I don't know what those are about, but maybe they have some value. I have to... Maybe somebody was a pilot. Maybe somebody was a pilot. The planet we live on. What land, I live on Earth. What about you? What planet you guys live on? Comment below what planet you live on. That way I know where you're watching from. The world in Southeast Asia. This says top road. So what, what do you think it is? My guess... Movers always put lamps and lampshades in top load. I think a lot of people, when they watch the videos, they think top load means something special. It's usually where you put fragile stuff. But I will tell you this, that is very modern Danish, very Art Deco-y. And that is a $30, $40 bill in Alameda, provided we find some kind of lampshade, maybe. I don't think there's a lampshade in there, but we'll sell that with its... Finial. I think this is a finial, so that's what we always pass in those movers. Yep, somebody took the ball off and the ball would match that as well. That's annoying. It would probably be an orange or black or something to distinguish the top of the lamp. But we'll take that to Alameda and we will ask 20, 30 bucks on that at least. Probably start at 40, take our best offer. That's the way we do it. What could this be? Uh, what is it, though? Nice. Flower pot. I think it's a flower pot. Found gun. Found sprinkler for the dogs to get wet in. Found feng shui style flower pot. That could be cool. I'll have to take a picture of Sin. It's a little woman. She loves flower potting, so I'll probably see if she wants that. Deer knitting? I don't think we need that, dear. do we have here what do we have here please be something good we're 300 deep in here this one cost me 300 i'm pretty sure this was my first ball time movie it was 300 all the same owner oh, that is looking tight that's looking like a military oh that is kind of a good one. Look, it's got some, maybe the sheath goes there, the knife. This is definitely older, you could tell by the tags. That is a good item right there. Okay. Not a good item. Ooh, we got another one. I don't know what these are worth, but I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess 40 bucks a piece maybe. They're, they look Vietnam era. They don't have patches. See how you could take them off? They got that one. Whatever patch that is right there. I don't know. Oh, that is kind of cool. There's two of those. Oh, we're getting some military clothes. Kind of smaller piece. This looks like Air Force stuff, maybe. I thought the first one was Army, but now it looks Air Force-y, but I'm not an ex- Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. The U.S. Air Force, oh my gosh. Crazy thing is they abandoned this storage unit too. They sat in storage for like a decade or so, and they told them, go ahead, 
and just sell the stuff. We don't want it no more. We don't want to pay the bill and we just want to be done. So they walked away from it. That's kind of cool uh, and kind of saddening because you think sometimes people want this stuff, but believe it or not, more often than not, nobody wants this stuff. They're over their families. Look, they even have the freaking dog tags in here. Now I got a friend who collects dog tags and he makes, uh, he tries to track down the people. So we give him these and then he does his best to get them back to the, the original owners and so forth. But CSF Baker. Another jumpsuit. So these could be money. I don't know what they are, but I'm going to guess 40 bucks a piece. And that's what I'm going to take them to Alameda as is $40 bills. Now, do we have anything else? We got a frick of pillow. And it looks like, wow, an Afghan. And you can see clearly right here, we got just bedding and pillows in there. So that's nothing special. We'll wrap that box up. Okay, what is in this one? It is marked gold. Oh my gosh, gold from King's Tomb, right? In Elvis's Lost Treasures. And I think the uh, manuscripts that Tupac wrote for his 97th album he's going to produce since passing away, which I'm actually still on the fence, gone. But they say that about everybody, right? But no, for real, it says her clothes. Let's see, because her clothes could be anything. It could be jewelry on the bottom of here. Right now it's a towel. But in my market, that's two, four, six, eight, ten. Because ta towels are like one of the hottest items to sell. Okay, we're at like 17 here. This is not looking like clothes. This said her clothes on it. This is not her clothes. This is her towels. All right. But I will tell you right now, that is a $40 pile of towels right there I'm now looking at. Let's just say conservatively, I'm getting over 20. There's well over 20 towels, but we do sell a lot of towels now. For I still sell a lot for $1. Do we have some clothes actually down here? Okay, we do. We did get to some clothes. Ooh, what do we get? What do we get? We got some dockers. Those are going to be just regular one, two dollar bills at the flea market. Some pants, but we did get a Ralph Lauren jacket and that is a good brand. That will get set aside for one of our different markets or like eBay or something. We don't do too much clothes on eBay, but we will do some. But brands are different. Like that's Land's End. It's kind of cool, but it's not quite the brand. Here we got another Ralph Lauren. So that will make it to our, our nicer market tables. And what do we have here? This is different. It's kind of cool. It's vintage. See the stitching on the bottom? I like that. We will set that aside. And that is a wrap on that box. All right. Why do we do this? This is what movers do. See, that's why I tell people don't get all excited, right? You, you, you buy, this is the average moving box at a moving company. Now don't get me wrong, that's kind of cool. That is like a $10 waste basket looks like that. It could be a hat, right? It could be a hat or it could be a muzzle for like a giraffe or something. There's a lot of options there. But the most of it is this stinking dog bed right here. Wow. All right, oh, we're still we're still cool though because like I said, I think this one cost me three hundred. This one cost me three hundred bills. And what's the beauty of that is we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen boxes to go. And I wouldn't say we're in the profit on this one, but I think we did hit a little money with this little pile here so far. So let's keep it going. What makes this? What makes this box so special? Because I'm a little, first off, I like this box, but I'm also a little discouraged. You can see that it comes off this way, but where was this tape at? This tape went this way. Somebody has broken this seal, right? Somebody has broken this seal to look in here. And that makes me discouraged because who was doing all this? Who was, on both sides, this was basically broken open. And somebody wanted to go in and see what was in there. I just noticed too that this is already ripped open because somebody had looked inside. You see that? Somebody has already broken the seal and looked inside of that Samsung television. Like a cheap, cheap television. That's like a $25 sale. But that's kind of discouraging because it makes you wonder who did this. It wasn't like that. You know? Alright, these are feeling a little heavy and they look a little different than the rest of the box. So we're going to go through them real quick. Won't spend a lot of time with just books and things, but gotta look, right? Gotta look in every box. Every box tells a story. Every box has something to say, like this is the complete drawing book. That's kind of cool. I like their choice of books. That's what I'm, I'm appreciating. 
NFL, we could still find a card collection. That would be nice. Got a lot. Ooh, the Titanic. They like great things. Uh, is that Albert Einstein? Yeah, this looks like a whole box of books, folk songs for guitars. I didn't see any guitars. And it is definitely books. So we will Golden Gate University Law Review patent. That's a good one. The patent. Is that general patent? And I don't see any safe books, so we'll just go on to the next box here. Oh, definitely books right here. Not what I want to see. I don't want to... The books are my least favorite thing to find, to be honest with you, next to uh, dishes. Generally, there's there are some good ones. It's just like everything. There are good ones, but then the most part, they're very cheap and inexpensive and hard to sell. That one is probably good. I'm going to guess three to five bucks right there. Same with this one, a nice little G National Geographic, probably a three to five book, which is cool. When you can get three to five bucks a book, I like them when they're like this, big thick books like that, tabletop books, Beethoven. What else do we have here? Any other good ones? Mysteries of the Mexican Pyramids. And it's just regular books that uh, we're not gonna show. So that's a, I would say I can get probably 30 bucks out of this box, which is cool. When you can get 30 bucks a box on your bad boxes, you're doing all right. We're only 300 deep in this unit, so where are we at? Where are we at? One last book box here. No, I don't even think I like this one. This paperback, my least favorite books. But do we have something else coming out of here? The Civil War. That'd be nice to find some Civil War memorabilia because I do see some some random military uh, collectible books here. Like this is what they like. Dear Chuck, this is a book I was looking for. It is trash and written by a man that was a bum and signed by belly huh wow from a life of adventure the writings of errol flynn wow that's weird it was written by a bum wow you guys think i'm harsh Whew. all right that's a, a whole box of books right there and i don't see anything else in there so we're just gonna call that a wrap and get on to hopefully a more exciting box now this is definitely discouraging to me. It says storage mist, but you can see it's been open, resealed, cut, etc., etc. Very crooked in my eyes. Something doesn't add up here. Something doesn't add up. You can see this box was originally taped on this side. See how the they made it look fresh. Close it on that side, but you can see the tape being ripped. We got a car cover. Not cool. Basket. Something is just a nice right here. the last thing we want to see. Not in bad shape, but. <sighs> nice. I mean, the last thing you're really looking for is an old heavy typewriter, but believe it or not, these are very sellable. And this one is probably in the absolute freaking nicest shape I've ever seen one of these be in. I don't know. What do you guys think? That's got to be at least a hundred dollar bill. That's I would say on eBay. That's a minimum of a hundred, maybe more, and puts us one third of the money back on the ball. Just that one piece. Looks like resealed. See, I'm gonna show you guys the suspect activity. Peeled tape, right? But there's none here because this flap was closed over. Box is only written on once by Baker. Who went in this, right? Who decided they needed to go and see what was in here and reseal the box? Any, any ideas? There you go. Look, the resealed tape from the original seal. <laughs> okay. Empty paper. <laughs> A whole box thrown in here. A nice little African basket. That's kind of neat. And some kind of very peculiar. I'm gonna show you guys what's in here on this side, and then I'm gonna show you what's down here afterwards. Doesn't it make sense? That is a cool stone necklace piece there. This has got panda bears, and that is kind of neat. These are all some type of, uh, I don't know what you would call them. Are these African? This is what this one looks like. It's got some type of pick of death on it and some really weird clay beads. Then you got this one right here, which is white. All stone. It doesn't make sense where it's laying here. Wait till you see what the box on the inside looks like. Tell me what you guys think here. Tell me what you guys think here. That's really suspect to me. These two are kind of necklaces. One's longer than the other. One, okay, there's two. Handmade. They're nice stones, though. Don't get me wrong. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, look at those pieces there. Those are nice. And then this one is just a cheap cloisonne with a cheap fake chain. 
but look, let me show you something. Look at this. There's a box thrown inside of here. Doesn't that look a little suspect to you? Where is the stuff that was originally in there? You filled it up with the box. Ugh, I'm a little discouraged here. Somebody's personal stuff that'll never get back to them because the moving companies do not give stuff back to people. They just throw it away. This one personal too? Yeah, that's a scrapbook of some form. Yeah, wow. I'm, I'm a little disappointed in this, to be honest with you. There's something underneath it, but you should never have to pull a box of paperwork out of a box of miscellaneous stuff. That makes no sense. In an exciting turn of events, Pyrus, this is pretty tight. My neighbor, she's moving out. She's moving to another state. And she gave me all this stuff for free. You guys aren't even going to believe what she gave me for free. Look, look at all these racks right here. There's one, two, three, four. Those are worth 30 bucks a piece in my market. She said she doesn't want them, but that's not all. I also got these two beautiful bookshelves right here. They make wood shelves. They fold out and everything. She was a dealer, uh, so she had all this nice stuff. But I got that. And then look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more shelves. Plus bonus parts. Plus, uh, these, I'll show you those in a minute. I got plastic coats, and then there's a whole thing over here. Check this out. We got all these racking right here. They make little like U-shaped things. You stand them up at your shows you do, and you could hang things from them, jewelry, clothes, etc. So that's a little bit of money right there. Don't even know if I'll use them or if I will just sell them. What I'll do, but we'll look into that. What else is in here? She gave me all this for free. Oh, a whole box of bags. That is freaking priceless. Ever heard me say you don't got a bag? We got all these clip-on lights. That's a few bucks there. She had cash registers. Look, one, two, three, four cash registers. Don't even know what to do with those. Probably just sell them because why not, right? Sell them. Ooh. A jewelry display. A jewelry display. Let's not drop that like we already did. What is in here? I don't know. Graphics display. Something to do with, oh, those are feet for that shelf there. That's not it. That's not it. Let me show you the coolest thing. The freaking coolest thing out of this thing right here. Ready? Guess what it is. It's this right here. Tell me that is not freaking sweet. She says she paid 200 for this and wouldn't take a penny less than 275. It's from an old hardware store that even has the original bags. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or what I'm gonna do with that. That is pretty freaking tight, right? Tell me that's not tight. The best thing of all is I got all this for free. I can't believe I got all this for free. That's pretty tight. So we're gonna we're gonna call this a wrap on this video because we got more things to do. We're gonna get to it, clean this up, start another video maybe, I don't know. But check this out. We did just get to those pieces there. Those were nice. We found this treasure here, which I love finding military. Don't you love military? Comment below if you like finding military. And maybe we're gonna find some more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 more boxes to go in this $300 pallet pod vault, whatever you wanna call it from Moving Company. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget the like button, the share, button make sure you're subscribed and all importantly have the notifications set to all if you don't have a set to all you're not going to get them and email me if you're not getting them and you do have a set to all or let youtube know because that's how you help me out i love y'all ah.